Hey everybody, this is SecureMac. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can detect keyloggers on Mac OS. So if you watched our last video, you already know that keyloggers can be a serious threat to your security and privacy. In this video, we're going to talk about what you can do to actually detect a keylogger if you think you've got one on your Mac. Let's get started. So first, let's open up our Mac virtual machine. And again, if you watched the last video, you know this Mac already has a keylogger running on it, one that we installed, and it's logging every keystroke we make. Now, one important thing to point out here, like all Macs, this Mac virtual machine is already running Xprotect, Apple's native malware detection tool. And, you know, if we just take a quick look in Terminal, we can see it's installed, it's up to date. Actually, you can see it's even been updated since we started making this video and it's not flagging our keylogger as malware. So this is one of several issues with Xprotect. It's not great on keyloggers. It's not great on this kind of borderline malicious software that, you know, might have a legitimate use, but usually doesn't. You've also got to remember that Xprotect isn't a subscription service. It's built into your Mac. It's meant to provide a basic level of protection but in general, it's more of a reactive thing in that it tends to get updated by Apple after Apple's already aware of a new malware threat. And that may be too late for some people, unfortunately. Okay, so we have a keylogger on here, and obviously we know that, but if we didn't know that, how could we check? Well, there's a few different ways. So first of all, we could start by looking at automation, where you can see apps on your system that can control other apps and a keylogger may show up here. To get to automation, you just go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and then you just scroll all the way down until you see Automation. And if we look here, we see our keylogger. Now, a couple of things to note about this. Number one, what you're looking for here is almost never going to be called keylogger or something really obvious like that. You kind of have to know what you're looking for before you go looking for it. And that's not always easy, right? Our Mac for this video, it's just a little demo machine with like nothing else installed on it except for the keylogger. But if you have a lot of different stuff going on on your Mac, there may be a lot in this automation view. And whatever the keylogger is calling itself could get lost in that noise. The other thing to note is this is just a first place to look. Some keyloggers, certainly some malware, are not going to show up here. So if you're checking for a keylogger on your Mac, take a look here. If something looks suspicious, do check it out. But if you don't see anything, don't assume you're in the clear just yet. Okay, number two, you can look in Activity Monitor, where you can see running processes on your Mac. To do that, just go up to Spotlight, type in Activity Monitor, and it should come right up. And so when you look in Activity Monitor, you can probably already see the problem with this method there's a ton of stuff going on on your Mac at any given time. So if you're hunting for a keylogger this way, you're either going to have to be, you know, sort of a power user who knows what is suspicious and what isn't. In other words, somebody who can differentiate between a normal Mac OS system process and something that shouldn't be there. Or you're going to need to know exactly what you're looking for before you start looking for it. If you do know what to look for, then this can work just fine. And actually, you can see right here, this dashboard client process is our keylogger. But again, though, it doesn't just say keylogger. And it's usually going to call itself something pretty nondescript. So we knew what we were looking for. But if you don't, unfortunately, this method's going to be kind of a needle in a haystack thing. OK, number three is outbound firewall apps. So these are basically apps that can inspect and or filter data that's leaving your Mac. And if you have a keylogger installed that's set up to send its log files off of your Mac, uh, or if you have a piece of malware that's exfiltrating data from your Mac, an outbound firewall app can help you detect that and stop it. And there are a couple of really great ones for Mac OS. There's Little Snitch, which is a really well-regarded paid app. There's also Lulu Firewall, made by the folks at Objective-C, and that one's free and open source. We'll include a link in the description if you're interested. In this video, we're not going to go into how to set up and configure a firewall. That's basically a topic for a whole other video. But we did want to mention firewalls as one other option to potentially detect and stop keylogger activity on a Mac. There are, however, a couple of issues with this. 
So first of all, even though both of these apps are really well developed and well supported, if you're someone who isn't all that confident when it comes to computers, a firewall app may not be that easy for you to set up. Again, firewall apps, great tools, but they take some configuration. To use them effectively, you're going to have to make decisions about which processes to allow and block. And honestly, if you're not sure how to do that, or if you're not comfortable doing that, they may not be the right tool for you. So firewall is great for some users, maybe not so great for other users. The other thing about firewalls when we're talking about keyloggers is we have to remember a lot of times keyloggers are installed by people who have physical access to a Mac. And if they can access the keyloggers log files locally on the Mac, then they don't actually need to send anything out over a network. And in that kind of a situation, an outbound firewall isn't going to have any network traffic to detect. Okay, so the last way to find a keylogger on macOS is to use a dedicated malware detection app. And we're going to demo how you do this with our own app, MacScan3. So to start off, we'll just download the app, and this is just the free trial version. We'll install it like you normally would any app downloaded from the internet. And if you want to try this yourself, we'll have a link for the app down in the description as well. Okay, so now this is installed and running, and we're going to go in and do a full system scan. And if you're scanning your Mac for the first time, it's important to do a full scan, not just a quick scan, because you want to check absolutely everything on your Mac. So we'll run the scan. And after a little while, there you can see Mac Scan 3 has detected the keylogger in a couple of places. And so at this point, you'd have a couple options. You could either try to remove the malware yourself manually if you felt confident doing that, or if you were running a fully licensed version of MacScan, you could just do the one-click removal to get this keylogger off of your Mac. And we'd just like to add one last word of caution here, and this is something we always say when we're talking about keyloggers or about spyware, because a lot of times, as we discussed in our other video, this kind of malware shows up in domestic violence or stalking situations. If that's the situation you're in, and you're removing something that someone else has put on your computer, then you need to remember that, you know, the other person is going to be aware that you found and removed the keylogger or the spyware or whatever. And obviously that could be dangerous or could lead to violence in that kind of situation. So in the cybersecurity community, there are people who specialize in helping folks who find themselves, you know, in these kind of scenarios. And they recommend that before you remove a piece of spyware or a keylogger, you reach out for help and you come up with an emergency plan first. And if that describes you and you're not sure what to do or where to get help, you will link to a couple of resource pages down in the description where you can learn more. Okay, we hope this video has been helpful. As always, let us know down in the comments if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like more Mac security tips, news, and updates, check out our blog over at securemac.com. Thank you so much for watching, and stay safe.